Hey Thomas, thanks for seeing me today, I really appreciate it. Uh, listen, I really want to renovate my house, I want to make it sustainable through electrification, and what I want to understand, I hear a lot about heat pumps, what are they and how do they contribute to this? Well, a heat pump in the first place is like your fridge. In your fridge you have an inside and, an, and a backside, okay. and you cool the inside and you get heat at the backside. So if we would insulate this building super, super high, we could probably take an American style fridge with an ice maker and we could heat the whole house with the fridge because you get the energy from the inside, from the produce and you bring it to the backside, which is warm. How does it work? Uh, you take the energy from the outside. In this case, you either take a geothermal drilling, you drill down into the ground, maybe 100 meters, or you take a so-called air source heat pump and then you take the energy from the outside. And you take that energy either from the ground or from, from the air, which we call ambient energy, and then you, um, you bring it into the building via this refrigeration cycle. If you have enough photovoltaic, you can, uh, you can become very independent of the grid. Not completely, because there is nights and there is days without sunshine uh, or with short, shorter sunshine. But in principle, in summer days, you would be able to become very independent. The heat pump can take the electricity that the photovoltaic modules generate. You could even store some of the photovoltaic electricity in a battery and then use it later at night. But you can also use a storage tank or the building as a control, controllable mass that can store some energy and then heat it up during daytime, heat the hot water that you need for a shower up during daytime and then enjoy um, the pleasure of a, of a solar heated, heat pump heated uh, shower in the morning or later at night.